We commence tonight's broadcast with news. The local tourism industry is bracing for the possible fallout from an attack on two gay men as they showered together in a cottage in Sufre. One of the men has taken his story to several gay-leaning newspapers and magazines in the United States and has also documented his ordeal on Facebook, suggesting that the incident was a hate crime directed against gays. The local organization United and Strong, which has in the past advocated on behalf of gays and lesbians, has condemned the incident, saying that the risk to the men increased once the criminals recognized their sexual orientation. United and Strong, a representative of which is currently in the United States, is seeking a meeting with the victims. DBS's Don Nicholas begins our news coverage. News about the incident appear to be spreading rapidly via Facebook and other means, a development which could seriously tarnish St. Lucia's reputation. This amid reports that two of the visitors are gay and were subjected to certain discriminatory remarks. What is even more disturbing to the authorities is that the visitors hail from the United States, one of St. Lucia's main tourism markets. One of the sensitive issues with this regard is, is that they are, um, two of the gentlemen are gay. And so there were some uh, discriminatory remarks that were made uh, to them, um, which obviously offended them tremendously. Um, and concerns with regards to our own laws in St. Lucia as it pertains to homosexuality. Um, so at one point, they were actually scared to go to the policeman. To make matters even worse, one of the men who had become very attached to St. Lucia was in the process of raising funds to help slow learners in the various schools. And Foreign Affairs Minister Rufus Busque says there's a lot more to that incident than meets the eye. In government, we're sometimes privy to information which you can't necessarily release and which in some cases can be somewhat speculative in that you can't actually prove it. But there is more to this. However, the fact of the matter is that it was the most unfortunate incident, that it's not the sort of thing that we like to see happen in St. Lucia. And generally, the government of St. Lucia, certainly we do not condone that sort of thing, and we find it reprehensible and something that ought to be condemned in every circle in which there is an opportunity to condemn it. Two of the men were reportedly taking a shower when they were tied up by the five masked bandits, while the other was severely beaten with a pistol. For the DBS News World, I am Don Nicholas reporting.